Hey there guys, and welcome back to another Dungeon Quest video. Yeah, this is what my voice sounds like for if you guys didn't know. But today I'm going to be telling you 7 Dungeon Quest YouTubers that quit making content on Dungeon Quest. This could be for many reasons, but uh, yeah. Before I begin, please leave a like because I did put a lot of research into this video. It really helps me out. So anyways, number 7, Handlebolt. Now I'm sure most of you guys have no idea who I'm talking about, but Handlebolt was a Dungeon Quest YouTuber who mainly did challenge videos and how-to videos. He was pretty unpopular, not really getting like barely any views, like, my videos do better than his old ones sometimes. But yeah, he wasn't that popular, but his videos were alright. He made content all the way up until Orbital Outpost, where he quit due to the game not updating at all. After that, he made Blocks Root content, which made his channel completely blow up. Like, as you can see, all these videos like have a lot of views. But yeah, he's currently sitting at over 100,000 subscribers. Pretty epic. And a good number 7. Anyways, moving on to number 6. Quill. I'm sure most of you guys know who he is. Like, he was a pretty popular Dungeon Quest YouTuber. That mainly uploaded non-voice videos like rare drop videos and leak videos and stuff like that. He had around 8,000 subscribers and was growing at a pretty fast rate. Around a month ago his channel was completely hijacked and he lost all access to it. The hackers got his channel terminated and pretty much screwed him over. So like, you search up Quill, like, there's none of his videos and that's like, that's not normal cause like, if you searched up me, Like, you'll see that you'll see all my videos and stuff. And since he's a smaller content creator, he can't really get the attention of YouTube, so... He kind of screwed over in that situation. Quill was one of my bigger inspirations for this channel. He was like my 20th sub, I think. But, yeah. Anyways, moving on to a story with a better ending. Number 5, Wrecked Away. Wrecked Away was a Dungeon Quest YouTuber that pretty much made any type of Dungeon Quest video from challenges to how-tos, like, he was very popular back then, he had like, what, 50,000 subs when quitting? He quit during boss raids due to the fact that it was very lame and like, can't really make a lot of content, and the game was dying back then, so, yeah. After that, he played various other games such as Booga Booga and Super Power Fighting Simulator. Currently, he's sitting at 400,000 subscribers, which is very impressive, and his videos get a really good amount of views, like a million, another million. Anyways, number 4, Kira Berry. Now, she hasn't really quit making content on Dungeon Quest, but just like content in general. The last. The last Dungeon Quest video she uploaded was around 4 months ago. I think she'll probably make like content on the game when it updates, but when does that ever happen? She currently sits with over 100,000 subscribers, and has been making content since the very beginning. She's also the head moderator, if you didn't know already, but oh my god, wouldn't that be cool to have mod powers, being able to like ban people and troll people, oh that'd be fun. Anyways, moving on to number 3, Snow Roblox. At one point, he was the most popular Dungeon Quest YouTuber. He quit during Volcanic Chambers due to there being no good content ideas. He had around 40,000 subscribers at the time and he switched to making all-star- uh, He had around 40,000 subscribers at the time, but he switched over to all-star tower defense videos when they started hitting the algorithm. He now sits with over 200,000 subscribers, and you gotta respect his grind, like he grinded content for so long, and like was getting barely any views, but eventually it did pay off, so good for him I guess. Anyways, number 2, Tanker. Yes, D Tanker was a Dungeon Quest YouTuber. He was actually the most popular one for the longest time. Quit making content on the game around boss rates due to there being no good video ideas. He sits with over 2 million subscribers. Very impressive. Now for number one. I think you all know who it is. It's Kelvin GTS. He's by far the most legendary YouTuber on this list. 
He had made content on the game since the beginning, as only a small streamer. He grinded out six, he grinded out three to six videos per week and grew at rapid speeds. After less than a year, he had a hundred thousand subscribers by only making Dungeon Quest videos. No one else was able to do this. The reason why his videos were so good was because they were entertaining. He had like an Albert Flamingo type style to his videos. He also had a close connection to his fan base by doing daily streams. He quit the game during Orbital Outpost when his anime fighting simulator videos started blowing up. He now sits with an impressive 700,000 subscribers. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Please make sure to you know, like and do all that stuff, but yeah. Before I end this video off, I wanted to say that I'm doing a new series. It's like Noob to Godly, but different, I guess. It's original to Dungeon Quest. And I think you all will like it. It's it's going to be a very time-wasting. No, it's going to... Anyways, that's, that's all, I guess. It feels really weird to talk into like, a microphone in dead silence, so I'm just going to end it here.